Today we're going to be talking about what is coming next inside of season four. Tons of leaks, tons of new locations and some new characters that seem to be arriving soon. We've got all the leaks for you guys here today. So as always, sit back, relax and enjoy. Tap that subscribe button to keep yourself up to date with everything that's going on inside of Fortnite every day. Touch that like button if you're enjoying season four. Let's see the love for it or hate for it. I don't know. And if you still haven't picked up the battle pass, use code MERL. Now I'm going to be giving away two battle passes in today's video. So in order to end that, all you need to do is tap that subscribe button, touch that like button on today's video and leave a comment with your Epic Games username and a social media like Instagram or Twitter or anything so that I can contact you and let you know you won. We've gave away 20 battle passes over the past few days on our live stream. So that's why I say if you guys want to get a bit more personal content with your boy, come on over at twitch.tv slash But enough about the battle passes. Let's get into the leaks, guys, because we've got a lot to cover. Starting it off today with well all of these secret foil styles these are crazy you can unlock these right now i'm going to give you guys all of the details on how to unlock every single one of these so first of all the she hulk style as you guys can see right here you need to reach level 110 for the silver level 150 for the gold style and level 190 for that crazy looking hollow style for her for the iron man silver style you need 135 levels for the gold, you need to reach level 175. And for that crazy hollow style, 215. It's going to be a bit of a grind, but I think it's worth it. A lot of people are not going to be getting this because it's kind of hard. It's uh, it's very difficult. From this tweet right here from iTalk, as you guys can see, he explains it very well. It's going to be quite difficult to get level 200 unless you genuinely grind it out. So I'm going to try and at least get a few of these styles, these hollow ones, because they're so good looking, man. A Wolverine, as you guys can see here, silver is 140, gold is 180 and that hollow style down there is level 220 on mystique it's level 130 for the still for the silver gold is 170 and hollow is 210 i love the look of the hollow one on this it's not too much and it's not too little. It's a nice balance between the skin. On Dr. Doom, level 125 for silver, 165 for gold, and, and 205 for the hollow. He looks insane on this one. On Storm, you need to reach a level 120 for the silver style, 160 for gold, and 200 exactly for the hollow style. Love that one right there. And then for Groot, I think this is one of my favorites. He looks full rainbow. Level 115 for silver, 155 for gold, and 195 for hollow so this one's quite easy not not easy easy but a lot a little bit more easy to grab and then finally for thor right here level 105 for silver 145 for the gold and only 185 for the hollow obviously with thor being the first one it kind of makes a bit more sense to be a bit more easy to get so there you guys go. Let me know down below which hollow style is your favorite. I think mine's got to be Groot. It looks crazy, crazy good. So that's those secret styles, guys. Get grinding. I'm going to be doing a ton of team rumble until the end of the season so that we can help each other out and get these hollow styles because it's going to be a grind for sure. Next up is quite an interesting topic. We've gotten a glimpse of an unreleased skin that is arriving soon. And not only this, but it's a popular one and it's going to be the female fish stick skin, guys. In two loading screens that were added in season four, we can actually get a glimpse of what seems to be a female fish stick. And you might be saying, okay, well, maybe it's just a concept mill. Well, it's highly likely it isn't. We've seen this in the past at starts of seasons when we've seen skins being teased. If you guys remember, for example, the dummy skin, we didn't get that until like halfway through the season, guys. And we all thought that was a concept, but it wasn't. And a female fish stick is obviously a very popular skin. So Fortnite definitely want to hop on that trend. As you can see right here, she's in this one. She's also so in this one down here, she's got the kind of like, I don't know what that is. It looks like a graduation or birthday type of hat. I, I don't even know. With a cool little dress on. Um, of course, it's going to be, be looking a little bit different than that because it is a concept. It's a kind of a drawn up style. But it is very likely we are going to be getting a female fish stick skin. Very cool. Very, very cool. So keep your eyes out for this. If it does arrive, feel free to use code mill if you learned that here first. Up next is quite an interesting topic that I think you all need to listen to. As you guys can see right here from Hypex, this is actually wild. We are going to be receiving four to five five new locations arriving soon. As you guys can see from this image created by Hypex, thank you very much to him. Inside of the files, we've got some code names and today it was revealed what they actually are and where they're going to be located. So first of all, the collector location up in the top right, you guys can see that over there. We are going to be getting that location, which looks crazy. Obviously, the collector is a Marvel character, I do believe. And in this image that was leaked on the mobile app store, 
of this new location, you can see it up in the sky. We'd expect to see him arrive later in the season as a brand new character to obviously get. Obviously have more gauntlets. So you guys can see right there, there's going to be a gauntlet that spawns at his location. So he's going to be a skin, likely with styles, just like the current Battle Pass ones, which is wild because we've never really had anything like that before. So that's going to spawn on this mountain. Right Down next to Misty, Black Panther's POI is going to be arriving. Yes, Black Panther. I'm going to talk more about him and another secret character that's going to be arriving soon, which I'm sure you guys are going to be excited for. Black Panther's POI is going to spawn just to the left of Misty down at the bottom of the map. This again looks to be a, a floating location, but I actually don't know if it's going to be floating or if it's actually just going to spawn on the ground. I think it might spawn on the ground. We'll have to see. But these leaked images kind of revealed it all, guys. So... It's, it's kind of wild. Panther Monument is the name of it, but wow. Yeah. Another one, Doghouse, is going to spawn just to the right of Holly Hedges. We've got no screenshots of what this one looks like just yet, sadly. Up at the top of the map, just obviously just above uh, Pleasant Park, we're going to be getting Security Truck. This is a code name. By the sounds of it, it may not be a full new location. It may just be something that's added like a security truck. I don't even know. If you guys are obviously a big Marvel fan, let me know down below if there's anything from the movies that relates to something like the doghouse and the security truck. I'm not too sure. All locations right there from Hypex and not only this but Fire Monkey found something else out that it seems as though another location was leaked from an actual official post obviously from uh, from Marvel. As you can see, new POI leak. As far as I'm aware, this POI is not in the game yet. According to Marvel, one of the upcoming locations is going to be the Ant Manor. And you guys can see in this image that was obviously leaked out by Marvel officially inside I believe their Discord Apparently, we should have gotten a location called Ant Manor. Now, whether that's a completely scrap location or if it again is a brand new location that's going to be added, potentially could be uh, what well, obviously Hypex just showed us right there, guys. Potentially could be Doghouse. I don't really know, but Ant Manor. This likely might be something to do with Ant Man, maybe, or I don't even know. But it sounds as though a new location could be on the way later in the season. And on stream yesterday, obviously, when I was streaming for seven hours for the season four launch, I was a bit annoyed about the map because. I felt like we didn't really get enough, but by the looks of it, we're at least getting five more locations over the course of the season, which I'm more than happy for. That is great to see, and it makes sure content doesn't get boring as well. So big shout out to Epic Games for thinking this season right through. So that's all of the locations, and obviously, as you guys heard right there, Black Panther, yes, it is highly likely, I'd say 100% confirmed. Black Panther is on his way. We also know he's going to be a skin and a character with gauntlets because in the files there's actually information that literally shows he's going to have abilities. Take a look right here from inside home base. They're a smaller leaker source but they're great and super professional. But you guys can see right here, Black Panther ability information. Whirlwind Blast kinetic absorption and we know he's going to be arriving as a character or at least a, as a character and a skin because he's literally got revealed icons right here obviously showing his gauntlets so wow that's kind of crazy black, pa black panther's going to get his own location skin and obviously character abilities so keep an eye out for him later on in the season and not only this but something that i'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited for possibly could be looking at spider-man arriving you guys can see from Hypex himself right here revealing that there's actually a banner and icon, I do believe, of Spider-Man inside of the files. Apparently that's about it for Spider-Man, but this kind of proves he's potentially going to be arriving as a character or at least a skin in some sense. Because why else would Epic add in a banner icon if there's going to be no point? Why would they even do that, you know? So I'd definitely keep an eye out. Spider-Man obviously is something a lot of people wanted. People obviously didn't get it yesterday. People were, were a little bit annoyed. I know our good friend Happy Power was a little bit annoyed about this. We were all quite excited to see uh, possibly Spider-Man as a secret skin or even a, a Battle Pass skin, but it didn't turn out that way. But with this, it gives us hope to see him near in the future, hopefully. So, wow, holy crap. Lots of leaks, lots of stuff to get looking forward to. Not only this, guys, but new bundles are on the way. One of them being Silver Surfer. Yesterday, it was actually decrypted, meaning it's ready to go. However, we don't know when its release date is going to be. Regarding everything I talked about today, all those locations, Black Panther, nobody has any idea idea when they could be arriving but as i say it's likely going to be gradually over the season we get these new we get these new pois we get these new characters so i'm excited for that but yeah silver surf has arriving soon not sure on the price likely from 10 to 15 dollars for sure you guys can see it comes with the reflector wrap silver surfer surfboard glider silver surfer skin and the herald star back bling, as well as the pickaxe right there so that's one crazy pack on the way and not only this but two more as well for one the samurai scrapper pack one person's trash is another person's armor. This one right here, guys, take a look at this. Oof. 
Looks to be possibly a pack or, yeah, I'd say that's a V-Buck pack for sure. We can see a thousand V-Bucks reward in there. So that's going to be exciting to see. And the Street Serpent pack. Street Fight and Back Alley Brawls are what you will find with the Street Serpent pack. This one right here definitely looks to be the next starter pack of Season 4. Season 4 is absolutely jam-packed. I cannot believe it, man. If you guys appreciate the work I've done for you today, keeping you all up to date, make sure to tap that like button, as I say. And as I say, get entered into, of course, the Battle Pass giveaway. We're going to give away two. I'm going to make sure to contact the winners tomorrow and announce it in the video. Use code in the item shop if you haven't picked up the battle pass or if you're going to be picking any of these skins up. Tap that subscribe button to keep yourself up to date. Follow me on twitch.tv slash for daily live streams and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.